Welcome to Manor with Spice. Today, I'm going to show you how I make onion bhajis. I'm Russell Phipps, and this is my channel where I show you my methods of baking, cooking, and maintaining kitchen equipment. Let's get started. I have six ounces or 150 grams of gram flour, a teaspoon of bicarb soda, a good tablespoon of ground rice flour and the spices I'm using today is one teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder, one tablespoon of coriander seeds, one teaspoon of cumin seeds which have been coarsely ground so that they're not a fine powder. I just like the additional texture it gives. Just mix this in I will then add two finely chopped chilies and I'll put a link up here so you can actually see how I cut my chilies. I'm just going to finely chop these. So then all I'm doing is finely chopping them with the seeds. You can take the seeds out for a milder taste if you wish. Um, I find that this will not be that hot. Scoop those up and put them in. What is the difference between an onion bhaji and an onion pakora? I've been informed that bhajis come from the south and that they are only made with gram flour and water, no spices. Whereas pakora come from the north and they have spices, and you can put anything in them, vegetables or meat. I've also heard that bhajis should be vegan. I don't honestly know which is correct and which isn't. All I can tell you is that in UK, if you're gonna have an onion bhaji, it's gonna have spices in it. It's gonna be made from ground flour, and there are various different types of ingredients which each restaurant will add. So this is my take on the onion bhaji. And now do the onions. Now again, I'll put a link to how I chop onions, but I do it slightly differently for bhajis. I'll actually cut these in half. I've zoomed in closer so you can actually see how I cut the onions again. I've sliced it in half, cut the ends off, peeled it, and I'm cutting it, as you can see there, they're about three mil thick. And you do that all the way. And when you get towards the end, you find you're running out of space, just tip it over and do the same again. Whoops, sorry, there you are. And that just gives you the ideal size for making the bhaji. So I'll do that again, but this time slightly faster. And there we are. So it's two onions chopped like that. I'll add these to the bowl and mix. Now you want to get the flour, the gram flour and all the spices thoroughly mixed onto the onions before you add the water. It is messy, so don't worry about that. Now, if you're going to add salt, once you've mixed this like this and before you add the water, that is actually when you would add the salt. Um, I personally don't use salt, but again, it's a personal preference. You can add any spices to this you like. As I said, Remember, it's your taste. Okay. Now I'm going to add initially about half a cup of water just to mix it. And then I'll be adding some more and we're just making a batter. Now 
And the reason you don't put all the water in is it is dependent on how much water contents there is in the onion and how much they're giving off. Um, if you're going to be using salt, you'll find that you'll probably use less water. I just want that thoroughly mixed in. Uh, just a little bit more water. Yep, that's more than enough. Right, I'll just put that bit in there. I'll put that aside. Now I'll leave that for about five to ten minutes. I'm now going to heat up the oil to defat fry. As I am making these bhajis vegan, I'm going to be using vegetable oil. I'll be using a deep fat fryer, which I have over there, which I'll bring across here so you can actually see it more closely. But you can use a pan on any type of heat. Half fill your pan, no more with oil, because it will rise when you put the bhajis in. And I'll show you in a minute or two how to actually test whether the oil is at the correct temperature. The temperature of the oil needs to be between 135 and a 145 degrees. And the way to test that is to put a piece of batter in on its own and see if it comes back to the surface, which is what I'm just about to do. And as you can see there, it's come straight back up to the surface. So I'm now going to put the bhajis in. Now I have a scoop, which I use, and I'll just push the bhajis into this little scoop and plonk them in. Now you don't want to overcrowd the pan. The reason I use a scoop is because it keeps your hands clean. You can use your hands and in which case you gently squeeze them into approximately a golf ball size, but don't squeeze it too tight. As you can see here, the reason this has expanded the way it has is because of the bicarb of soda that I have put in the flour. We will cook these for 10 to 12 minutes until they're golden brown. I'll then put them into a dish which is lined with a double skin of kitchen towel and put kitchen towel over the top. And once they're all done, I'll then put them into the oven at 100 degrees just to keep them warm. The reason I use the kitchen towel is that it will absorb a fair bit of the oil so that the bhajis do not feel too greasy. These are just about ready. They've been in for 10 minutes. I'm now just going to zoom in so you can have a look. In addition to the subscription, I'll put connections to some other videos that I have produced. Thank you again for watching.